Gary Russell from Capitol Heights. Maxile from the Philippines. Maxile, seven years Magnifico! Young. Maxayo, Gary Russell Jr. Okay, guys, we receive your pre-bout instructions. Keep the touch them up. Here we go. Trained by Freddie Roach and Russell, on the other hand, making a six world training champion in boxing. And he's one of the guys like Leo Santa Cruz, Gervonta Tank Davis. And there's a nice uppercut from Maxayo. This is certainly going to be a chess match, and there you see the jab from Russell. And there is that right hand again from Maxayo. Russell certainly has to be aware. That's perfect with your punches. You're rolling everything. Uppercut. That's it. So in the black trunks, Maxile in the navy blue and gold. Maxile is looking for that uppercut. And Russell it is so hard. There's a body shot followed with a left hook from Russell. And now Maxile pushes Russell back a bit. That's something you have to do with a guy like Maxile. Maxile is looking to change that. There's that right hand again. And there's that left hand from Maxile. Is he and also trying to time up Maxile? And Maxile trying to do the same. And I think he may have connected on that overhand right. Not positive. I got hit by it. I got hit by it. The fight of his life here tonight. And there's Russell again, huge nonetheless. You're starting to see the aggressiveness of Gary Russell. And he's left to a world champion. Back into the body by Russell. Now Maxile providing some different angles. And Russell's such a student of the game. And there's an overhand left by Russell. Both guys have to watch their head butts. And there is a, let's see, a body shot. And Russell maybe, Russell clearly let out a grimace. Sile's confidence has got to be growing here. To see the grimace on Russell, to see that on his face, alone is probably a win. And there's that left hand again connected. You did see he had an undisclosed injury, and there's that left hand just caught Maxile as he darted in. And now Russell using that left again, again from Russell. And there's the end of that fourth round. How badly is it hurting him? Who knows, but he feels well enough to continue on here in round five. On the inside and really press the action on Russell. Coming forward, overhand right, followed by the left. And Russell, as you see through this fight, I'm just noticing he is not throwing that right hand at all. And I don't know how he is going to be able to continue through this fight solely on just if Maxile hasn't picked up it on it in this round. There's some body shots from Maxile. And now Maxile really as referee. Let's Russell get back to his feet. Here's some of the highlights of that round. Seems to plan to just use his left hand here the rest of the way. Maxile comes in with a couple of bit more. And there he goes, gets through the defense of Russell. Looking for that uppercut. He's going to have to focus on movement and angles relying just on his left hand now. Straight left by Russell. Maxile with the big uppercut. In. And he is on Russell. Stalking Russell. And Russell again, 
Still has some quickness, and there's a body shot connected from McSyle. This will be extremely impressive if Russell can escape with the victory. The fact that he is only using one hand, and there he knocks Maxile. Maxile again continuing to chase Russell around the ring. And there's a left hook, and Russell again just ducks underneath. Here's the three punch combo that Maxile was able to connect with, get through the defense of Russell. And then Russell ducking underneath, but he took him. Now, you know you have Russell hurt. He should have been able to pick should up on the give an opening to Maxile. As difficult as possible for Russell. And there's Maxile again, trying to cut off the ring of Russell. And Russell connected on that straight left. And there's a left hand again on the chin. And Russell is thus far. Russell only 40. So only going to be interesting on his movement and placing Russell wasn't going to throw that much coming into this fight and there's that left hand again defense and you know picks his shots he, he relies more on being accurate and there's Maxile again as he takes a look final seconds of round seven McSile with the body shot said last run. round. I mean, McSile been the more active fighter, more aggressive, Russell. chasing Russell around the ring. And there's that overhand right by McSile, but countered with the left hook. And there is that stiff jab from McSile, knocking Russell back a bit. Two years ago, he started to slow down in the second half of that fight. And there's that overhand right again from McSile. Now Russell ducks out of the way. Backing Maxile up a bit, and now Russell. There is that body shot from Russell, but he took a right. And there is that sh double, I believe it was the second or third round on. And there's a, a Maxile walked right into a left, exquisite boxing. Maxile's been able to press forward here in round nine. Back into the body. On the front foot of Russell. Find ways to his defense is incredible. Now Maxile try to counter with the right hook. Counter with that left and dance around. And now Maxile is able to connect on some, but just hasn't been enough in that ninth round. Go to the side. They got tied up. Round 10. Miguel Flores here, premier boxing champions here in Atlantic City. And now Maxile unloading a flurry. And there is a straight from McSyle that he was able to land on Russell. Now McSyle has Russell in the corner. This is where he wants him to be. If you're McSyle, you... this way you don't allow him to. Russell, that overhand left. Now body shot by Russell. Walking Russell down. And now Maxile connected, landed on Russell with that straight left. There are some body shots from Maxile. Is looking for that big overhand right. Let Maxile know we need two more rounds like the last round. And now Maxile on top of Russell. Back into the body is Maxile. 
Now Russell back into the body. Fight through this. And now Maxile, again, sort of off balanced. Now again, Manny's one of one, but. It's all you, all you right here. WBC featherweight championship bout. Moxile looking to become Sile. And uh, followed up with a jet and uppercut. And Moxile into the body. And now Moxile almost had left. Men and a half to go. And there's a Huge right hand from now. You're starting to hear the Gary Faithful. So you have Mike Siles section. You have Gary to come out victorious. Russell with a huge overhand left as the punches, the volume. Hasn't been able to throw it at all. And now Mike Sile. And now it's two straight lefts by Russell to close the final round. Come out victorious. It was a tactical battle. You can see the frustration on Russell's face in the fight. There's that. Man. And Maxile is able to take advantage of the throwing with just one hand. Going to the body, and at times as Maxai was able to counter. But nonetheless, Russell did have land a, several clean shots. And then there was Did not make it easy. And there you see. And the new.